year 2000 Audi TT Roadster uh, in a really desirable colour combo of Nimbus grey exterior with baseball leather interior, which I'll show you in a second. It's a, it's a nice low mileage car, this one, 49,000 miles. I'll put the exact amount on the, uh, on the description and all the paperwork we've got to go with it. Um, it is the 1.8 turbo, 225 horsepower Quattro version. So that means you've got four wheel drive and 225 horsepower, so it's not slow. We drove this car back from the owner's house. Um, drives really well, no smoke, nice and tight, lovely car to drive. We'll have a look around the bodywork and then we'll have a look at the interior and get started. Start on the front corner. No marks at all there, nothing really to worry about, nothing to note. Headlights are nice and clear. It is worth noting this car wants a good clean. We will give it a polish in the next week or so, but it could do with a good clean. The wheels have been refurbed and they've been done a dark gray, um, which goes really well with the color actually, it's nice. Um, there is a small bit of curbing at the bottom there. But other than that, it's good. Good tire on that one. Arch is nice and clean all the way around. Go along the sill. Again, that's nice. There's no real bodywork issues to note on this one. Wing mirrors have got no marks on them. Glass is nice and clean. Handles are good. There's no marks from anybody opening it with rings or keys. Rear arch again, nice and clean. Normally they go around here. You know, we find a bit of rust coming up here, but there's nothing at all on that. And down the back of it, really good. Again, this wheel's nice. Another good tire on it. No curbing at all. Rear quarter. It's all good, nothing to worry about. No no fading on the lights. Normally what you tend to find is this sort of fades all the way out and cracks on the TT, but it's really good. Looking down the sides, nice straight car. Rear end again, nice and clean. Exhaust really could do with a polish, to be fair. But it's a nice, clean... There's no marks at all, really. There's nothing to know. It doesn't make for a very exciting video, but it makes for a nice, clean car. Again, rear lights, nice and clean. There's a bit of... Oh, that's just a mark that one's cleaned off. That'll wash off. This rear arch, again, same, no, no rust there at all. Coming down this side, this rear tyre. Again, that's nice, there's no curbing on there. Passenger side sill, same as the other side. No marks down the passenger side at all. Clean on the wing mirror, glass is clean again. There it is. A very small bubble there. You can see that. Which really probably wants sorted before it gets any worse, just to protect the rest of the car. It's a nice car, it's worth having it sorted. And this wheel again, no marks. It's only really that front driver has got a small mark on it, and that's about it. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at the roof and then we'll get that down and have a look at the interior. The roof wants a nice clean, but it's 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 good, there's no tears or marks in it. Got the glass heated back window, so no cracking or anything to worry about on that. Normally what happens is around these ribs and these sort of 2000s roads as you tend to find that they go, but actually no, that's really good. Like I say, we'll stop the video, we'll put the roof down. It's an electric roof, we'll have it at the interior. Okay, so roof down, it's an electric roof. You undo the latch in the middle here, hit the switch, and down it goes. It does have the electric rear bla uh, wind diffuser which is nice really useful especially on a two-seater you haven't got the seats behind it to get rid of it uh the interior so like i said it's the baseball interior it's really sought after interior nowadays and you can see why it's called baseball because it's got this leather stitch all the way around the outside and then it's got a suede panel a few spots where it will be plastic which is really nice it does have the same color on a black door card and then the, the tan bit in the middle TTs all get this nice aluminium trim. It has the matching steering wheel. But condition wise, it's lovely. There's no marks at all. Wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to have it a good clean. But, you know, sills are all nice. Seats are nice and clean. No real wear at all on the steering wheel. Um, one thing I did notice is when you put the ignition on, it has that same problem that a lot of TTs have where the pixels in the center dash go. Now there is a few companies on the internet that will fix that for you because it is quite a common problem on sort of naughties, Audis, Golfs, VWs, that sort of stuff. 
on the passenger side. Door card's nice and clean again. The seat, really nice. All the suede's good. Handbrake gated to match, which is really nice. It does have the original Audi concert stereo, which goes behind this nice bit of trim. Um, and it's connected to the extended bow speakers, so that's quite good. It has um, pretty much every extra you'd want on it, I guess. But yeah, interior wise, nothing startling to report other than that it's rare in baseball. On to the boot. So in the boot, you've got the space saver with spare wheel. And the trim, the leather grab handle still intact. Quite often you find that they snap. Underside of the boot lid's nice and clean. Nothing really to report. We'll get the bonnet up and have a look under there. Under the bonnet's also nice and clean all around here. There's no rust or surface issues at all. There's no oily deposits, which can be a, a bit of an issue in some of the more poorly maintained 180s. We'll get this one started up. On the button every time, nice and quiet. Like I say, we drove it to site. Turbo spools up properly, it pulls really well. There's no clicks from the Heldex system or anything like that. But if you've got any questions, you're welcome to ask or come and have a look at the car. Uh, but year 2000, Audi TT Roadster, Nimbus Grey with baseball interior.